Welcome everyone. So this is a session for uh, under 25. Please. Welcome everyone. So uh, this is the session where you learned about the keyway course, the Scrum Master course, the data analyst course, and also the business analysis course that we are offering for um, under 25 guys that are British in the UK. So this is only for British under 25 and the program is totally free. So I'm gonna go through a quick introduction. It will be very, very fast, but this is recorded. You can go and watch it then. After that, I'll call John, who is going to be leading this course. So it's going to give us more information about that. Then after that, you have opportunity to ask questions. So, and this, yeah, we'll finish this within one hour anyway. So that is the agenda for today. So quickly, I know some of you may have known us, but I know some people might be joining for the first time. What is Blue Sky Citadel? How did it start? Like it started 2009. Then myself and a few people coming together, I used to train them for a few months and then they start to get jobs. Then later it became bigger than uh, friends and family. We are to the community. Then after that, it was also successful. Then, then we kind of formed a charity organization called Blue Sky Citadel. And yeah, we offer uh, courses in IT and work placements and mentorship in yeah in business and also in your career. So this is a longer that I actually coined. If you can believe it, you can work it. Then you can actually achieve it. So we know there was a saying that said the sky was is the is a limit, but we believe that the sky is no longer the the limit. With blue sky, you can you can fly beyond even the the sky. So I'm going to quickly go through our team. We die a lot, but I will be very, very fast. So, so this is myself. My name is Deji Manner. I am an MVP with Microsoft and also a fellow of Chattard Institute of Management. And I've got executive MBA with uh, CAS Business School and also MSc Computer Science and AI, and as well as BSc Computer Science. I've got experience in software testing, scrum mastering, and also data analysis. If you want to follow me on LinkedIn, you can look at that. So that's my LinkedIn profile. So yeah. And another person I want to talk about is uh, Pat. Pat is a head of DA, uh, head of the body and mentors actually. So also as uh, started a career from IT as well. So go over 15 years now in in IT in different field. And also she's a transformation coach and also certified mindset coach as well. And I got Pastor Tutu Shofora as one of our advisors and Alice Barbosa as one of our advisors as well. And Councillor Geraldine as one of our advisors. Uh, Timmy Chodende is one of the uh, tutors and he always take a API and mobile testing. And I've got Tolu Yesufu, one of our um, Scrum mentors and as well as a product owner. And Mobology Okola is one of the program managers and as well developer and Kiwi mentors. And allow me Adelaide, one of the program managers, and as is she's also a scrum master as well. Yeah. And Bolu Odukomaya, one of the program managers and a product owner as, as well. So, and 
Yemi Ayola is one of our Kiwi mentors, and she's also a um, Kiwi tester. And Abiola Diropa, one of the BA, senior BA, and mentor. Uh, Muchi Yola is one of our senior Scrum Master mentors. And we also have Kwame Anim, is one of our senior test automation mentors. Uh, Tunde Shofora, uh, one of our uh, Oracle ACM, and yeah, mentors. Oyi Odukuju is a lead programmer and also a Kiwi mentor as well. Uh, Ike Odukuju is one of our senior developers and also a lead Java programming developer. Uh, we have uh, your major be one of the senior DA mentors. And uh, your Kungi is one of the program managers as well. So Funke Ogunjabi is one of the Scrum mentors as well. Femi Adidoni is an agile coach and is one of our agile program manager tutor and mentors. Uh, Kende uh, Akeniwa is one of our web developers and Abimbala, another web developer and also one of these senior Kiwi mentors. Okun, okay, Okun Falami is one of our senior BA mentors. And Kemi Shodeke is another person, is another mentor for the data analyst. And we have Tina teen, as well, one of the project management mentors. The list actually goes on so uh, quickly. Yeah. And at the BC, one of the admin and also QA mentors. Uh, we have a lot of people, and we are just kind of put some list here anyway. So uh, we got um, over, uh, I think, 80 people on, on this platform that are helping different people. And I want to say thank you to all of them. So now for this particular program that we're in under 25, under 25 program. So you have, we have four different streams that we are focusing on. So software testing, business analysis, Scrum Master and data analysis. So those are the four different work streams that we are going to be focusing on. So this course, in this particular, or depending on what you choose anyway, is totally free, right? For under 25, yeah, British, I would say. It has, you have to be British and you have to be under 25, 18 to 25, okay? Uh, other people, they pay 600 for this particular course. So we are only offering it for, those guys that need mentoring and yeah, um, and they are British and you are under 25 anyway. So yeah, so that is a, yeah. So within the program, you have CV, you, you're going to do your CV, you have your CV reviewed. We also prep you for interviews if you are looking for jobs. One thing, you have a live mentoring session, right? So this is very, very important. So, you have a lot of people that pass through this experience. They've gone through this journey. They can be able to help you through your journey as well, whether you are looking for a job or you're not looking for a job or you're just preparing for the future. And I've got, I've, uh, I've, let me just quickly go back quickly. I think there are two people I want to mention. They are now one of the mentors now, but when they join, yeah, Oyi Odukudu and Ike Odukudu, they joined this program uh, um, like five years ago, right? Then they were a student, actually. They were a student with Cladido, no, Caledonia University, so studying computer science. So and in the uh, year one, they joined the program. Uh, when they finish, yeah, they, uh, they start to apply for, uh, for jobs. 
But when they do apply, they are not applying as a fresh graduate because they already got like three years experience working with us actually. So that's what we are trying to, to pass across to everyone. So whether you're in the uni or you are about to go to the uni or you just finished. So it's an internship that you can put on your CV. And once you are able to go with us, it, this one is three months, but of course there will be follow on program that you can also be there. And so until you get that particular job that you are looking for. And these guys, even though we still put them there on this program, they still get first class as well anyway, both of them. So it's kind of give us a motivation to say we can do this and yeah. And they both work, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Oyin works with MNG Investments and it works with KPMG right now. So yeah, so and that's what I want to say. So yeah, it's really, really a great program. I would say that, yeah, if you are under 25, it's where you want to be. Yeah. Okay, so there are some recommendations. So you don't need to have IT experience for you to uh, enter this program. We're going to teach you, we're going to, yeah, um, prepare you for the future. If you already fin finish your uni or you, are, you just, or you are ready for the market, yeah, we would um, make sure that we mentor you towards your dream for the future, like those two cases that I mentioned. Yeah, we, this program is really for, for you as well. Okay, so we have some recommendation from different people, so which I'm going to quickly just go through right now then from there i will pass it to john to kind of talk about any any other thing that we want to speak about then after that i'll pass it i'll yeah you can ask questions and yeah so this is another recommendation yeah everyone is there to help you um, during your program yeah and yeah, this is another person that actually got jobs in a fintech after finishing. This is another one. We have, yeah, different ones actually. So yeah, this is another one, yeah. So now quickly talking about how the program is structured, there'll be online training that you have to attend. So we'll send you the link and you attend the training. If you miss the training, you can go and watch the recording anyway. So I know because some of you guys have got maybe coursework, you got things to do. So you can, yeah, catch up on, on the online training you, with the recording. So it's a workplace in, internship where you they will give you projects. You have a project that you work on. You guys will be on the team. You work together as a team. We'll also advise you if you need to do any certification, but within the program, we'll offer certification and uh, certificates as well, where we give you certificate at the end of the program. There'll be online workshop and also we'll plan to do physical workshop as well. So, but we'll let you know the date for, for this. Yeah, I've spoken about this. Quickly, for those guys that say, okay, what is this course about, right? What exactly, who is a business analyst actually? John, do you want to talk about this? If that, who is a business analyst? Yeah, um, yeah, I'll read, I'll read through this and um, talk about what a business analyst does and the roles and responsibilities of them. So yeah, a business analyst, as you can all see, helps an organization achieve its goals by analyzing uh, data, assessing processes and systems and creating solutions and planning for the future. As a business analyst, you work within an organization helping to manage change and plan for the future in line with the business goals. So this could be one uh, for one specific project or as a permanent feature of the organization. You may need to understand the current organizational situation, identify future needs and create solutions to help meet those needs, usually but not always in relation to information and software systems. In other words, um, a business analyst is a problem solver, someone that implements change, someone that provides solutions. You look at things as they are in their as-is state and you put together what you would 
what we'd call the 2B state. And uh, different tools you use like process maps or wireframes and different softwares that's used as well, which we'll get into with this. But that's essentially what a business analyst does and the roles and responsibilities of of the of a business analyst. Um, not sure what if there's another slide, but we will get to questions a yeah. bit later. Okay. So yeah. yeah, this is this is just different names that a BA could be called. It, there are lots anyway, but this is just a few ones anyway. So and um, these are a few responsibilities of a BA anyway. But you get to know these things because we will take it through all of them. So these are different tools that you get or skills, right? Within the program as a BA, you'll be able to teach you how to create your CV, we'll review your CV, we'll also uh, try to improve your skills that you need for this particular role. You'll be given a project and yeah, and also there will be internship, of course, we'll give reference as well. You have mentors that you can call on anytime and we give you information on where you can apply for jobs, how to apply for jobs. And also, we also help you with TV um, interviews as well, and also prepare you uh, for, for those interviews. And in terms of technical uh, tools that you will use, you use Azure Develop, you get exposure to Jira, Balsamic for wireframe, and also Visio for your process maps. And yeah, and other tools uh, mentioned there. Now talking about software testers, so I will speak about this quickly. Software testers are there to ensure the application does what the business analysts have written. So when you have an application, the business analyst will write what the application should do. A developer would develop it, right? Based on what the business analyst has written. Then after that, a tester will pick the requirement from business analyst and then the, the application from developer and try to see if they tally. If they do not tally, then it will raise a bug or you will say, okay, this is not what I was expecting. And then, yeah, just like a quality control anyway, to ensure that the application works as expected. So that is what a subject tester would do. So for this particular program, you have opportunity to do manner automation, manner testing and automation. So automation, there's a tool where we teach you what you need to do, how to use the tool. And yeah, so you have, we, you also be able to create your CV, review it as well with us. You have live projects, you have work experience for the duration, you have mentorship and yeah, it's the same like other one, but the only addition is like you have exposure to you, you'll be taught on how to use Specflow for automation and also Selenium WebDriver. And for this particular cohort, you're going to uh, get exposed to Java, not C Sharp, if I may say. Anyway, yeah. Okay, so. And data analysis, right? So as a data analyst, you are going to uh, look at data uh, with your analytical mind and you pay attention to the details and you also provide, you translate that data and you provide insights to stakeholders, right? So the data can be in raw data, it can be in numbers or tabular ball. The major thing is for you to be able to represent that data in a, way that everyone can relate with actually. So you'll be using some tools to, you can be um, to produce those particular data, whether in terms of graphs, charts, tables, reports, yeah. But we teach you what you could do. So data analysts are really in high demand in different sectors as like other roles as well. So whether you, you, you may work in finance, consulting, manufacturing, pharmaceutical government and education, the same thing with BA and also with Kiwis as well. So they are all in high demand. You just need to know what you uh, you want to do. The same way you have uh, this particular, uh, yeah, these particular features within this particular program. But in terms of the technical skill, you, be, you would 
learn how to use SQL, Excel, and Tableau within this particular program. Yeah. And yeah, so this is different names that a BA, a DA could be called anyway. So the last part, the last one is the Scrum Master. So as a Scrum Master as well, you would have your CV created, review, and also you have life skills as well, and also mentoring, yeah, and exposure to some of these tools as well. As a Scrum Master, you facilitate the communication between your team and the stakeholders. So you need to be a team player, actually. So you would uh, be using Scrum as a as an agile framework to for this particular project. So and the responsibility, uh, yeah, as you can see, yeah, you'll be coaching your team, you'll be supporting your team during their tasks as well. You also going to look at if there's any impediment or issues, then helping your team to resolve those issues and updating management with the progress of the of your team. So yeah, now within your team, you have a product owner, which is gonna be John. So, and you have the Scrum Master intent, which you know, you, some of you guys are the Scrum Masters. So you will also have developer, so that's gonna be more. So you have some BAs within your team, you have testers as well within your team. And there's also going to be DA as well. So, but we'll let you know as you go along how your team is going to work together. And yeah, so this is the structure of, of your team, which, yeah, and also with the DA as well anyway, so yeah. Okay, so I think I'll skip this one, so that's fine. So you'll be given a project as well. So there will be some activities that you have to do. I just put that in there right now. So, and in terms of salary scale, so depending on your experience, I would say most of you might not have a lot of experience. So you might start with 25,000 and above anyway. So depending on the industry that you apply to, to be honest, you see, even as you grow up in the ladder, you can be any, over 100,000 anyway. So, but if you decide to go for contract also, you can be getting like 350 or above per, per day as well. So this is just a, a snapshot of different roles and their job as well and the salary or the day rates as well. So yeah, so that's, that's that. So this is from yeah, this is another sp screenshot about the average salary of the IT jobs in the UK. And yeah, so there, are, uh, so unfortunately, I think we are not getting more people, uh, yeah, for this program. For, for those guys that want to kind of apply, so you can actually check other courses that we do offer on this link anyway, but they are not, they are not free. But this one for not 25 is, is, is free anyway. Okay. So I think that's all we, okay. Okay, all right. So I'm going to pass it to John. John, do you want to go through different thing or any addition to this? Then we'll open the floor for any questions. Yeah, um, thank you. I'm, I'm keen to open the floor to any questions, but before we do that, I just wanted to talk to thank everyone for coming as well and congratulate them in advance because I genuinely believe that um, anyone here in this meeting is taking a step in the right direction. If it's something that you want to do, um, Believe you me, it's an opportunity that must be seized and grabbed with both hands. Um, and I'm really passionate about um, about this, and the reason why I myself am taking my time out to do this and ensure that everyone gets the results that they need is because I believe that a candle loses nothing by lighting another candle, right? So no matter where anyone is, whether you're a beginner, whether it's something new, whether you don't know anything at all, there's enough people, um, the right team and resources in place to help um, help you with that. What I will do is give you some advice moving forward. Advice number one is remember that 
whatever you put in, it wouldn't get out. People are going to be getting different results from this, right? Some people may um, appear to excel more than others, but that is because they have to put in the different kind of work, different kind of ethic. And you have to also remember to do your own independent learn as well. Don't just rely on whatever you're taught or whatever you're shown. Also do your own homework, do your own research and um, ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions because it's in that process of asking those questions and and doing something, even if it's not correct, learning how to write the right, do it the right way. That's where learning happens. If you go out and you write, for example, a user story, someone, someone might not know what user story is, but you'll learn if you write a user story and you write that user story incorrectly, it is in the process of correcting that user story that you're learning how to uh, write the user story effectively. So please do ask questions, try and, and learn from those so that you're learning the right way because what you don't want to do, and I've seen it happen before, is people do the wrong thing well. So you're writing something that's, you're writing a user story, for example. Again, if you don't know what that is, you will soon learn. But you're writing the user story wrong, but you're doing it well. You keep doing it wrong. And in your mind, it's right, but it's wrong. So it's important to learn how to do the thing, uh, to do it correctly. And um, yeah, just be, you know, able to ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions at all. Even if you think the question is silly, ask the question. And yeah, I'll be available at any time for any questions. Um, you can message me on Telegram and I'll answer. If I don't respond straight away, I will eventually get um, yeah, get back to you. I'll probably give a little bit of a background before we answer questions, just a little bit into the project itself. Not in so much detail, but it's a brief overview. But the project in itself and the business is a business that provides household services. And the business is currently in the process of scaling. So the business is operating, well, was operating locally from 2017. And the business is now operating nationally. So there's some uh, processes that are put in place that needs changing. So if you remember the the, the first slide that we, we spoke about, like for BAs, for example, where they implement change, we're now scaling the business where we um, uh, now need to look at change management and see how we can provide the service effectively um, by in multiple locations as opposed to one. So we'll get into that by it's all to do with household services. And um, we'll be looking at the current state of how things are and also the future state as well. So it'll be cool to get everyone's ideas on how that can be worked. Um, the QAs will be testing. The DAs will be analyzing. The BAs will also be doing the same. And collectively, we'll be working on this last project to meet, and, uh, to meet a common goal. Um, I'm not out of uh, words, but I'm cautious of the time. Cautious of the time, sorry. And I want to leave the floor open for any questions um, that anyone might have. If you do, I think there's a question in the chat. Oh, someone said the mic is being cut out. Can you hear me properly? Can everyone hear me? Oh dear. No. You can't hear me? Sorry. I was just saying it kept cutting out in some parts, but I understood everything you were saying. I just missed a few things. Okay, I do apologize for that. I do apologize for that. I think the reception where I am is not very good. Um, but I do apologize for that. Did any is there any questions um, that anyone has? You can either raise your hand or put them in the chat. Um, Officially, and um, correct me if I'm wrong. Is it twelve weeks? Twelve. Weeks? Yeah, th this is for. Uh, four months actually so yeah yeah but one thing i can say because this is is the program is only for uh, three months but however there will be follow-up free courses right because i know some people 
uh, maybe in the uni, they're not looking for jobs, they are looking to gather their experience. So you can be here as long as, long as you want to be. Uh, yeah, basically, but it's going to start from today, right? So we'll let you know your group and everything. Uh, John already mentioned the project that you are going to be working on. Yeah, it's a household project. Actually, that is a website. So, and it's going to give you a mandate. You're going to be working on that one. So yeah, you can be as long, you can be on the program as long as you want to gather the experience that you want. But it's this, of course, like a project, it's three month program anyway, yeah. When does the program start? Yeah, so it starts as, yeah, it's already started anyway. So the next thing is like, we're going to have another kickoff meeting where John as a product owner will give you your mandate, right? You have opportunity to meet your team members. In your team, you have the BAs, you have the Kiwis, you have the DA and your Scrum Master. You come together and you have a right. meeting with your product owner. He will formally give you the mandate that he's talking about right now. Then you start to work together. So I would say the program already started, right? Yeah. Is there anything that you want to add, John? Um, no, there's nothing else I wanted to add. What I would, what I would like, however, if possible, I know it's the first time we're meeting, right? Um, if we could. Everyone that's in this meeting, just introduce yourself. Tell me your name, what it is that you're doing. Some people might not be sure whether they're looking at the BA side, the DA side, if you are sure. And just like, you know, what your outcome is out of this. I'm looking for some work. I'm looking for this. What it is what that is? Just so that, you know, I have an idea and I can e-meet everyone. I think that would be good. Um, so if we can do that at some point, if there's any... You know, in the absence of in any of our questions, that would be great. Okay, I think that that's a good one, John. So if it's, mm -hmm. I can start calling people names. So if it's fine, yes, so, please. yeah. So the first person, Ade, do you want to just give a quick introduction, Ade? Ade is in the kitchen. Okay. All right. So another person is, is it Bill? Bill C phone? I don't know. Is Got B is iPhone? B maybe? Yeah. Oh, B is in the dining room. Okay. Demilade, please. Okay. He said he can't speak at the moment. Okay. Demilade, okay. please. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. So basically, my name is Demi Lade and I'm looking to do the business analyst side of it. I mean, the data analyst side of it. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. All right. Thank you. For me, <laughs> I know you are here on behalf of someone. Can you talk? <laughs> No, I joined the meeting <laughs> because I saw I saw the link, so I just thought I should come and see what's going on. Um, am I supposed to introduce myself? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, of course. I think you've got some people that you wanted them to come, right? Yeah, I think they're in the meeting. Um, I'm a scrum master mentor. Okay, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, all right. Thank you. So, Gani Ali. Good evening, everyone. Um, I'm a scrum master, and I'm here on behalf of some few people in our community um, to empower them in the in, um, technology world. And um, I will take the information back to them because um, majority of our young guys or girls, after they finish secondary school or uni, they're just looking for a job to do. So this is a great platform to to introduce them to so that they can attain area in life, but um, just to start them young. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Jay Johnson. Jay Johnson. Yeah, uh, my name is Dimo Johnson. I'm BA. 
just new member just started yesterday. I've been messaging uh, Mr. JG, but I know due to the busy schedule, he has not, it's not uh, time to reply me yet. I'm still expecting my reply from him. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, I don't think I saw any message from you anyway. So if you don't mind, send it again. So I haven't, I didn't say anything. Yeah. All right, sir. I'll do okay. that. Sir. All right, cool. Uh, Jennifer, please. Jennifer, GDO4. Good evening. You know, yeah. um, hi, I'm interested in the business analyst um, side of things. Okay. Awesome. All right, thank you. Joshua. Hi, I'm Joshua. I'm interested in the data analysis side, and I just hope to gain a lot of experience from this. So, awesome. sorry, uh, if you, I, I do, maybe, guys, you let let us know what you do currently, if you don't mind. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm a student at uni, University okay. of Sheffield. Okay, cool. That's good. Uh, Jennifer, what about you? Sorry. Um, I finished uni. I studied law, but I'm just looking to start something different, like a new career perspective. Okay. Um, looking to gain a job out of this. And you, yeah, BA is good uh, for for a, a lawyer anyway. So if you can write as a lawyer, <laughs> I think John will tell you BA is the right place to be. Anyway. Oh, cool. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. All right. KJ iPhone, who is that, please? KJ. Okay. Marvelous. Marvelous. Oh, hi. Um, I'm looking to do the business analysis side of things. Okay. What do you do now, please? Um, I'm about to go into uni. So, okay. yeah. So for you, it's going to be a long program. Are you going to be looking for work or are you just going to do this for maybe having experience? Um, it's for having experience as well as okay. like building my CV and opportunities for getting work and just opportunities in general. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. all right. That's brilliant. Okay. Good. Okay, all right. So I think Matthew, please. Um, can you not hear me? Yeah, can you, yes. can you you now, John? All right, my name is Matthew. Okay, I Matthew. currently study at the University of Leicester. I'm looking to do um, go through the BA um, business analysis side. I'm looking to gain experience and work from this. So, okay. Yeah. okay. What, what year are you, Matthew? Um, I'm going into final year, so final year. It's a perfect that, opportunity. That's a good one, anyway. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, All right. yeah. okay. Excuse me. Matthew, you what did you say you were studying? Sorry. Um, I study um, business management. Business uh, management. University of Leicester, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Cool. Thank you, Matthew. Maureen, please. Maureen. We can't hear you. I know you are talking, but we can't. You might have to unmute yourself. I think he's unmuted now. Sure. So, yeah. We, we still can't hear you. Okay. Uh, Mo, do you want to say hello? <laughs> Hi, good evening. My name is Mo, and I'm going to be a developer. Okay, all right. Thank you, Mo. Welcome. Yeah. Oh, Lucy, come in. Oh, Lucy, come in. Okay, uh, Pat, please. Pat, are you able to speak? Okay, Precious. Hi, um, I'm interested in doing the data analyst course. And at the moment, I'm just finishing my access course in digital technology and computer science. Okay, all right, cool. So I okay, you are doing DA. Okay, that's brilliant. Well done. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So Tammy. Tammy. Hi. Good evening, everyone. 
my name is, is it my Timmy? Because I can yeah, tell let's, my... that's fine. Let's let's hear from you anyway. <laughs> that's okay. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Timmy, and um a scrum master. I've been working as a scrum master for a year. I work with Sui, and it's nice to have everyone here. Thank you, Timmy. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh the other Timmy. Okay. Yemi. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Yeah. Yeah, I joined the class late, but I'm looking into either Scrum Master or Business Analytics. Um, I have a background in statistics, so I'm trying to see which one would really suit my background. Okay. Have you registered? Not yet. Oh. Mm. Because it's closed. <laughs> oh. oh. Uh, yeah. It's closed for this session? Yeah, for the under 25 is closed. Unless, uh, John, do you do you still want people to join? Um, has the form been, so the form has not been filled in? Oh. Yeah, I can, I can ask the developer to enable you for today if John says so. No, I am not under 25, so I think I maybe oh, I can do Oh, okay, it. all right. So if oh. you're not, then you're not in the right place. So okay, you, okay. You have, okay, you have to meet the eligibility criteria. Yeah, so, criteria. so okay. if you're okay. not under 25, then... You, yeah. Yeah, I'm on the wrong zone, in the wrong zone. Yeah, okay, exactly. thank so, you. So this program is for under 25 and it's free, but if you're not... So what I advise you to do is just go and apply on the main course, right? It's 600 okay. pounds, then the admin will get to you. Yeah, so yeah. Okay. This one so is when, is the, when is the next class starting for is regular? It in the next three months, right? Mm, around September, October, I would say. Okay. Oh, all right. right. Thank yeah. you, sir. Okay. All right. Good. No problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Cool. I think that's everyone. So, yeah. So one thing I can tell you guys is like, okay, you're in the right place. Okay. So mm -hmm. we're going to send information, more information to you. We have a kickoff meeting, right? So there'll be links for the meetings that you, you can join and attend, but we'll have a meeting every, uh, I think we discuss it, John, like we're going to, have a time, we we'll send a time for you every week where we're going to have uh -huh. a regular meeting, but there will be standard training that you have to attend and also we'll talk about the kickoff meeting as well, but we'll let you know, uh -huh. okay? All right, so John, anything from you before we we'll close this session? Um, no, nothing from me. I think someone has sent a message in the chat. I'm not sure. Sure, what's wrong with my audio? Maureen is from Master Graduate Studies Geology. This group to me. Okay, cool, perfect. So Maureen's introduced herself. Um, okay. Thank you, uh, Maureen. What I will say, what I will say is that um, I will consider um, uh, accepting new any additional people, even though it's closed now. Uh, on on any circum on special circumstances, if anyone has any recommendations, but they have to be, um, yeah, people filling the form and people that you know are really willing to go the extra mile. I'm really excited about the team that we have here. And I can already sense that we are going to be exceeding expectations. So, um, but yeah, as long as they meet the eligibility criteria, the acceptance criteria. Um, that'll be fine. I'm cautious that this meeting is time boxed. It's a 2051. We'll have a meeting at eight. So, in the absence of any other questions, um, I think we can close this meeting. And if anyone does have anything else that they want to ask, please feel free to message me on Telegram. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, John. And the last thing, if you're here and you're not in that Telegram group, right, please ensure that. You send an email to admin, admin at blueskyscitadel.com. So, yeah, uh -huh. there's a Telegram group that's already been opened. Information will be sent out to everyone in there. So for us to do onboarding and also to start the work anyway. So we'll do the onboarding and we'll do the kickoff, but we'll let you know how it's going to go. But if you're not on that particular Telegram, please ensure that 
you let the admin know. Okay. All right. There's another meeting that's starting at eight o'clock anyway. So we'll, I think we'll just take a break now. So thank you so much for joining. It's going to be an interesting yeah, journey with all of us anyway. So please do use the opportunity. And it's a successful platform. A lot of people have already used it. And I would encourage you to, to do that. And John is going to be leading it. John already went on, gone through this program before. He knows what he was able to, to get from it anyway. John, maybe if it's OK, do you want to share your experience as well? John? Sorry, Just yeah, can you hear me? Now. Yeah, we can hear you now. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm a BA, working as a BA, um, currently in the recruitment industry, medical recruitment industry. Um, and I would say that I was once where you are, yeah. And I think... Um, Anyone that knows me, when I say that, you know, it's about the work you put in and the, and the results that you put in, it's from experience. And anyone that knows me knows that during a time like this, I'm someone that is not afraid to do my own sort of learning. And I've had the Zoom meetings at unusual times, one o'clock, two o'clock with my peers and other fellow BAs. And I think um, if you, uh, you know, put in that work and apply yourself, you will most definitely um, be able to achieve your, your your career goals in this field or any field, whether it's a BA, QA, uh, Scrum Master, and you can hear it for yourself with the different, um, uh, the, yeah, the different things you've read, the testimonials you've read as well. Um, yeah, it's it's very much something that can be can be done with everyone. So. Yeah, I mean, my case is very unusual in the sense that I only, as, as a BA, as a BA, sorry, I I was then doing a business strategist role within that same organization as well. So, and we'll get to that as well when you do your training. That there are other roles as well you can do as a BA because um, you develop the necessary skills. Um, I would. I would be confident enough to do the work as a DA, even as a PA. Um, and obviously now that I'm functioning in the role as a product owner, it's, it, there's definitely transferable skills that um, that can be applied. But yeah, we'll, we'll hear more about me. And maybe one day um, I'll switch on my camera so that we can see uh, my beautiful face. Thank you. If indeed it is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> if indeed it is beautiful, correct. <laughs> All right. Well, I know you do have beautiful face anyway. So it's, yeah, it's not you are pretty. And so okay. Hey, right. I, I think that that that's it for us. So uh, there's a meeting that's yeah, there's a meeting that's going to hold right now. Uh, you are, you you guys are free to hang on and see what these guys are going to. To be doing so is the is the guys that have already started a, a, two weeks ago you, you are free to join you are free to kind of look into what they are doing anyway so that's fine but yeah i will pass it all to the next meeting allow me do you want to take it away from there thank you thank you guys for joining anyway yeah cheers everyone yeah thank you thank you for attending any questions please message me thank you
Hi, DG. Please, you want to stop the live? Hello, DJ, are you there? Thank you. 